This is AC Starlord, aka Austin, and welcome back to my channel. And I haven't done a video in a long time, but this video is going to be about Lisa Frankenstein, and it's just in time for things, uh, just in time for Valentine's Day. Before it came out before Valentine's Day, but just in time for Valentine's Day. So we take this, um, <clears throat> movie. It takes place in, in the 80s, and it's an 80s horror comedy movie, which you don't get too much these days. You have Cole Sprouse in it. You have um, the girl from Ant-Man in it, um, and also Freaky. <clears throat> Catherine, her name is Catherine, and she plays a girl named Lisa, and Lisa is very uh, shy and very timid because something happened to her tragically when she was a kid. And only not a kid when she's a teenager with her mom and all that stuff. Then she was forced to move in with her stepmom and her dad, or her dad and her stepmom. And she gets all a new sister and all that stuff. And then, you know, her sister's trying to get her out of her shell. They go to a party and then to that, it goes to a party scene and then she gets drugged and then all that stuff. But, there's more to it. <clears throat> There's something else to it. She goes in the very beginning and visits um, a graveyard that no one goes to. It's abandoned. And she makes wax art of the of the, of the tombstones. She's a very odd and weird person. And she falls in love with one of the tombstones that's played by Cole Sprouse. <clears throat> But also in the very beginning, this very beginning, you get Cole Sprouse's character's backstory with the credits, and he was a musician. You don't get that until you don't know that till the middle of the movie. But then we go back to the party, so it kind of starts with them getting ready for going to a party, and her socializing out there because the doctor told her to socialize, and <clears throat> which is fun. But then she gets drugged, and then she goes home and she wakes up. And then the next day, she goes back to work. And the people that saw her there, like, oh, we didn't, sorry, we didn't know that the, the drink was drunk. And they had the crush. The guy she has a crush on didn't know the drink was drunk. Oh, I'm sorry that we didn't know that was drugged. And then when she goes home later on that day, Cole Sprouse's character comes out, comes to life. And he plays, like, a Frankenstein-like character, zombie, that... <clears throat> comes to life and wants to get body parts. And basically, they get body parts. And as Lisa's life is revealing to herself that's very boring, right? When he comes along, she starts. you start seeing the shyness and timidness go away to being who she truly is, like a, a goth emo girl that, you know finally came out of her shell. And that's what the interesting part of that comes up because to me, I'm very shy and very timid at meeting new people as well. And then when people get to know me, they know I wear geeky, wear geeky stuff, but also I'm on the edge of the geeky stuff, like Spider-Man and Marvel and DC on the edge also being in horror as well. Wearing sometimes all black, like this is all black Spider-Man shirt. <clears throat> So I kind of, you know, um, I kind of have that in common with her. I kind of, me and her kind of draw at the same, at the same time, uh, at the same, what was it called? Um, a connection, basically. But he helps, she helps out those, uh, helps out Cole Sprouse's character get a hand and other body, part, other, other, other body parts and they end up falling in love with each other. Then they fall in love with each other, but she she is liking somebody else that doesn't like her, and she is trying to do a family dynamic, or at least with her dad and not with her stepmom. The stepmom's a, a bitch. Um, I mean, I mean the stepmom is a a bitchy person. <clears throat> so Cole Spross kills her stepmom for a year. They one of the boys that drug the one of the boys that tried to take advantage of her, advantage of her. They kill him for a hand and so on and so forth the guy she liked 
Well, I'm not gonna go further there, but he kill he kills he kills him, and he gets a certain body part that's lower down the belt. Um, but as this is happening, the he ends up, the uh, Cole Sprouse character ends up falling in love with her, and it has nice '80s music to it, like um, um, different types of '80s music, uh, like punk rock '80s music, and there's um, also um, I can't fight this feeling anymore. That song, that song's in that movie, which is a great song, the movie. And then, again, she's trying to develop her friendships, friendships and relationships with her sister and all that stuff. But she doesn't realize that this <clears throat> Cole Sprouse character likes him. I mean, Cole Sprouse character likes... He, she doesn't realize that Cole Sprouse character likes her. I mean, you know, he, he likes her. But she likes someone else. But when she finally realizes it's towards the end of the movie and then... She ends up sacrificing herself for him to be basically his beloved wife, kind of. <clears throat> it's also an interesting love story. That's why I said it's just in time for Valentine's Day. Because even though she comes out of her shell when he comes along as just as a friend, so that she sees him, eventually sees him as more than a friend, and they have a very good love story. And this is a very good love story, but also has hinted on the very good of horror, like old classic horror movie, horror movie vibes, like an old Frankenstein, modern, a modern Frankenstein story where they kill people for body parts and sew them together and put them in a, um, in a um, tanning bed to have them come to, uh, have these body parts come to life. <clears throat> but it's also a good comedy. There's some really good jokes in here. Um, really good references. Like, there's a reference from uh, Days of Our Lives where the guy, he, he, she's like, you kind of look like the guy from Days of Life. He wears an eye patch. They call him Patch. There's references from that, but you probably won't know that unless your parents grew up watching that show. But it's also a good, it could have good 80s uh, vibes to it. It's made by the same person that did uh, Jennifer's Body and uh, the, toy, uh, uh, di um, the director Toyo debut of Robin Williams' daughter directed it. Um, so that's interesting. And it's just cool. And it's also cool to see Cole Sprouse doing something more than just Riverdale uh, or Sweet Life of Zan Cody. But mainly Riverdale. And Catherine's done a lot of different things. And she's about to be in another movie about a ballerina vampire. So that's going to be cool. Um, also, since it's almost Valentine's Day. And since I'm going to post this pretty soon here on Valentine's Day. Go see anyone but anyone but you. Also has uh, Sydney Sweetie in it. And the guy from Top Gun. That's a really good movie. It was a really good comedy. Um, made a really good uh, rom-com. Um, about two people that had a one-night stand. And they end up liking each other. But he says a lie. And then they have to be forced to go to a um, wedding together. Go see that there. We releasing it for an encore for a, valent a special Valentine's Day thing. And also her other movie, Madam Webb's coming out. So check those out. <clears throat> On Valentine's Day. But going back to Mr. Frank Frankenstein, I loved it. I saw it twice. I missed the beginning of the, the first time I saw it. I missed the beginning, so I went back to go see it. And this is really cool. It's basically like oh, kind of like it's kind of like E.T. in a way, in which she has to hide him, you know, from everyone, and then she's the only one that knows that he's around, and then. Eventually, everyone finds out she's with him, kind of. So, it's a f cool, interesting story. I loved it. I watched it twice. I laughed at some things that were some funny jokes in there. I'm not going to reveal that. It, he, there are some funny jokes in here. References to 80s movies. I mean, 80, 80s references to m shows and some movies, music. Um, like, I can't find this feeling anymore. There's just references in 80s stuff. Um taking place around the 80s it's really just fun it's really fun and the dynamic between Catherine and uh, Cole are really good and it's just a really fun twist on a Frankenstein movie but I highly recommend checking it out
you like this video, like, put a like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And if I don't see you guys by then, happy Valentine's Day to everyone that's on YouTube and all over the world. Happy Valentine's Day. Go see this on Valentine's Day. Go see also see any anyone, anyone but you also. Highly recommend. And yeah, I might make another video. Next one might be um One Love. Uh one uh Bob's Marley Bob Marley's One Love. One Heart One Destiny. So one love, one heart, one destiny. Deuces.